Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this deer. Now you'll need cream, white, black and brown cotton or wool. I use four ply crochet cotton, I find it gives me a crisper finish. You'll also need a crochet hook and scissors. I use a darning needle to weave in my ends and a sewing needle and thread to stitch my deer together. But you could use the cotton or the wool. I'm going to start with the head. I've got my brown cotton and I start with a magic loop and three chain. And I work 14 double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two I start with three chain and work a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then I work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work this row and I'll join you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then two double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two and then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain and that's our head done but we don't fasten off. I just pull my loop out a bit and I'm going to start on my ear. So I miss one stitch and I join my cream cotton into the following stitch. And work two chain and work a half double crochet into the same place as the chain. and then work two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the following stitch. For row two I start with two chain and I work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. So I pick up a loop from each of the, the stitches just yarn around and in and pick up a loop. And then yarn around and through all the stitches. And fasten off. And that's the first ear done. I'll just weave in my ends because I find it easier and then we'll go around the ear. Around the ear I use the cotton from my head and I work 
a single crochet into each of the first two stitches. and then a half double crochet into each stitch around to the last two. Just find a suitable place to put your hook into. And then work a single crochet into each of the last two stitches. And slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the first ear. For the second ear we miss eight stitches. Into the next one we join our cream and work two chain. Work a double, half double crochet into the same place as the chain. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. and a half double crochet into the following stitch. For the next row we work two chain and turn and work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And fasten off. And the second ear is worked the same. We join our brown thread, the stitch before, and then work two single crochet, and then a half double crochet into each stitch to the last two, and two single crochet into the last two, and join into the head. I'll do the face part now. I start with a magic loop and two chain and then work three half double crochet into the loop. Then I work one double crochet one treble One double crochet or half double crochet a double crochet a treble and a double crochet I pull my loop tight and slip stitch into the second chain. For row 2 I start with one chain and work a single crochet into the same place as the chain and then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches.
and then work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet and one treble into the following stitch. Next one treble and one double crochet. And then a half double crochet and a single crochet into the next. Then one single crochet into each of the next three. And now a single crochet and a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then a double crochet and a treble into the following. A treble and a double crochet into the next and into the last we work a half double crochet and a single crochet and join with a slip stitch into the first chain and fasten off And that's the bottom bottom part of the face part. Now you find the center stitch and move one to the left and join your cotton. And start with two chain and a half double crochet into the same place. One half double crochet into the next stitch and two half double crochet into the following stitch. For row two we work two chain and turn and we work one half double crochet into each stitch. And for row three we work two chain and turn and work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And fasten off. the other side we miss three and join to the in the fourth from our crochet ring. So we're going to have one three. We start with two chain and work a half double crochet into the same place as the chain. One half double crochet into the next and two into the next. For row two we start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch. And for row three we work two chain and turn and work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And fasten off. And that's the face part. I'll work the muzzle next. So using white I make a magic loop 
and work three chain. Into the circle I work seven double crochet One half double crochet, three treble, one half double crochet. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. And fasten off. And that's the muzzle. It's got a little pointy part down the bottom and a half circle at the top. For the nose and using black I make a magic loop and work three chain and work a three double crochet cluster into the circle. Another circle tight and fasten off. And I've got a little triangle. For the eyes I make a magic loop. and one chain and then work two single crochet into the circle pull it really tight and slip stitch into the chain and fasten off I've got a tiny little circle. I'll need two of those. I'm going to start on the body now. So using my brown I make a magic loop and work two chain and then two half double crochet three treble Six half double crochet, three treble, and three half double crochet. I pull my circle tight and 
and slip stitch into the second chain. For row two, I start with two chain and work one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then two half double crochet into the following stitch. Now I work two treble into each of the next three stitches. Now have two half double crochet into the next Now one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches Two half double crochet into the following stitch And then two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet in the next stitch and then one half double crochet in the remaining stitches and slip stitch into the second chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And now we're going to repeat that around to halfway. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch around to halfway. Now that's about halfway. So now I work two half double crochet into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the following stitches and repeat that round to the end. So two half double crochet, 
into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the next two. And repeat that round to the end. And slip stitch into the third chain. For row four, we start with three chain and let's work the same as row three. We work one double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then two double crochet in the following stitch. So we repeat that round to halfway. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two into the following stitch. around to halfway again. And that's about halfway. Now we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And we repeat that round. So two half double crochet into the next and one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches until we get to the end of the row. and then slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off and 
and that's the body down. I'll just pull the circle a bit tighter. I'll start on the tummy piece, so I'm using the cream and I make a magic loop and work two chain and two half double crochet into my circle and then three treble Six half double crochet three treble and three half double crochet. The first three rows of the tummy bit are work the same as the body. You pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the second chain. For row two you start with two chain and one half double crochet into the next stitch. and then work two half double crochet in the following stitch and then two treble into each of the next three stitches Next, two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then two half double crochet into the next stitch. And now two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch, and one half double crochet into the remaining stitches, and join with a slip stitch in the second chain. For row three, we start with three chain. and work a double crochet in the same place as the chain and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch and we're going to repeat that round to halfway 
So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch until we get to halfway. Now that looks about halfway. Now we work two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and we repeat that round to the end. So two half double crochet into the next and then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches round to the end. and then slip stitch into the third chain. For row 4 we start with one chain and work a single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll finish this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the first chain and fasten off. And that's the tummy piece done. Now for the arms I start with my brown and a magic loop and work three chain and three double crochet into the circle I pull my circle tight but I don't join for row two I start with three chain and work one double crochet in the same place as the chain, one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row three I start with three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as the chain, two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. For row four I start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into the next stitch, a double crochet into the following stitch and then two double crochet 
into each of the next two stitches. For row five, I start with three chain and I work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches. and fasten off. Both of the arms will work the same. For the foot, I'm using black and I start with eight chain. I work four treble in the fifth chain from the hook. and then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And three half double crochet into the last stitch. Then I work into the back of the chain of the first two half double crochet, one half double crochet into each. And slip stitch into the top of the chain. For row two I start with one chain and work a single crochet in the same place as the chain and then work two single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row I slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. I'll need two feet. For the antler, the first antler, I miss one stitch after the ear and join into the second stitch. and work 8 chain I miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet into each of the next 5 stitches Then I work four chain. I miss the first chain and I work a single crochet into each stitch down to the head. I 
I work a single crochet into the back of the single crochet from the first part of the antler. And then I slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the first antler. For the second antler, I work join into the third stitch from the ear. and work six chain. I miss the first chain and I work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. And then work five chain. I miss the first chain and then work a single crochet into each chain down to the head. and then slip stitch into the head. Now I'll make another eye, foot and arm and finish off my endings and I'll be back to show you how to put it together. To start making it up I attach the nose to the white muzzle piece. The nose goes at the top. You've got your half circle and then you've got your little pointy apart. You attach the nose to the top and the pointy part of the nose goes just over the circle in the centre. And then I'll also embroider in a mouth. Next I'm going to put the muzzle onto the face part. It just goes at the top there. Just center it. So I'll stitch that on and I'll also stitch the eyes on in the middle of the two sections there. So I'll do that now. Next I attach the face part to the head. They just go evenly along the bottom and the tummy piece to the body it sits fairly close to the bottom too. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now there's the head and body finished. Next I attach the arms to the body. Just about there. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now lastly I attach the head to the body and the feet. The feet go in like that. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished ear. And there's the finished ear. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.